The European Space Agency has launched a mission to explore dark matter and hopefully shine a light on the beginnings of the universe. The CBC's Dominic Valaitis joins us now from London. So, Dom, we do have some live photographs or live images, I should say, of what's been happening with all of this because it has now launched this European built space telescope launched from Florida on this mission to explore cosmic forces of dark universe, as it has been uh, described. So these are just some live images here for our viewers. But Dom, if you can take it away, tell us what this mission is all about. Yeah, some absolutely stunning images coming out of uh, Cape Canaveral in Florida. Uh, the uh, the uh, SpaceX rocket that actually launched about uh, about five minutes ago. Uh, the European Space Agency's orbital telescope on board, which is known as Euclid, is uh, now on its way. It's actually heading to a place in solar orbit, about 1.6 million kilometres from the Earth. It will take about a month to get there. And when it does, Hillary, it will begin a six-year mission uh, to try and resolve one of the biggest questions in science. That is, what is the universe made of? It will attempt to shed light on this rather uh, mysterious, elusive stuff known as dark energy and dark matter, the unforeseen forces that scientists say account for 95% of our known universe. And without getting uh, into too much technical uh, detail, Hillary, Euclid will use its various onboard instruments to essentially create a huge map uh, of part of the universe in order to try and pin down the properties of this dark energy uh, and dark matter. In the process, perhaps, uh, shedding light on how galaxies evolve and how uh, the universe expanded. Now, Euclid was meant to lift off last year on a Russian Soyuz rocket, but the, uh, uh, the European Space Agency pulled the plug on that and ended all collaboration with uh, Russia following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, the other option at the time was to use the European Ariane 6 rocket, but that was uh, facing delay. So instead, uh, the European Space Agency turned to SpaceX and its Falcon 9 rocket, a rocket uh, that I should say was not immediately compatible uh, with Euclid. Additional work was required to, uh, uh, to carry it, but that was, that was done. Euclid, as I say, is now on its way. And I should add that um, although this is primarily a European space agency project, Canada's played a really important part in today's launch with uh, astrophysicists and other experts from the universities of Waterloo and British Columbia part of uh, the, the mission team. Hillary. Dom, thank you for this. And I think we have those live images once again. Why not? We'll bring those up again. Super cool. Dark universe sounds very science fiction, but as you were just <laughs> saying there, Dom, it's very much reality, uh, trying to explore parts of our universe that we perhaps have not seen yet or don't know much about. So just once again, for our viewers at home, those are some live images coming to us from NASA of Europe's Euclid telescope. It has now launched. Very, very cool. Dominic Vlaitis for us there in London. Thank you for all of that. that. Is coming up.